In our previous video, I went over applying HB2R graphite drawing to begin to go into the darker value range. So today I'm going to start with 2B. Similar to how we've applied the other pencils, in larger areas I'm going to use circular shading technique so that my texture of the pencil moving across the paper does not distract from the purposeful texture I'm trying to create in the object itself. When I do need directional shading to bring out the texture of my animal, I'm going to purposefully apply it and not just randomly guess at what I need. I'm going to, again, not use the most amount of pressure I can with this pencil. I still have one more pencil I'm going to layer on top, which is a 6B, which will give me some nice dark values. So I'm going to, again, not go clear to the darkest range for my 2B pencil. And I'm going to, again, work on balancing things out. So as I add my 2B, if I need to work in any areas that have already had lighter values applied to them, then I will go back and adjust those values so that I'm trying to match the values in the original image as much as possible. So I'm going to get started on applying my 2B pencil to my project. So my first strip here, I've applied some 2B pencil to it. So what I want you to notice here in this area where I didn't fill in with HB because I knew it needed to be slightly lighter than the rest of the background. And since I wasn't going to my fullest, darkest potential with HB, I knew that what I was applying would be close to the value I'm going to need in this area. Do you notice how much white paper is showing through here even though I used a circular shading technique. This is why we layer other pencils like the H and the HB pencil underneath softer B pencils. Because they are softer, they break off of the rod of graphite easier, but that also means that they're not getting the opportunity to work themselves down into the fibers of the paper as well. So what you can do is if you have an area in which you've had to do this, wait until you go to a softer pencil 
and apply it before shading another area is you can go back over this with either a darker H pencil, in this case it'd be my 2H since I've already used it, or an HB pencil. And since those pencils have a little bit of a harder graphite compared to a 2B pencil, they're going to allow you to work into the fibers a little bit more. So I'm going to come in with my HB pencil. And again, I'm not even pressing very hard. I am probably at about a medium value range pressure. And notice already the difference that is making in that area. It's allowing me to work my pencil into the fibers more. I'm losing more of that white paper that is showing through the H, sorry, the 2B pencil. And it's going to give me a more solid gray look here. So again, I don't even have to press so hard because one, HB is working into the fibers and two, because 2B is a lot softer, it's taking that dust that is resting on top of those fibers and help working it down into there also. So that's why I don't even have to press very hard with my HB pencil to kind of smooth this area out. So if you do have an area like that in which you were not able to apply one of the H or HB pencils to it yet, and you start to establish the value range for it with a softer lead pencil, then all you had to do is go back over top of that area with a pencil that has a little bit of a harder graphite again, HB or 2H for us, and work that pencils graphite into the fibers, and it's also going to help move the graphite of that softer pencil down into the fibers of the paper. So I'm still getting a little bit of a fuzzy look there, so I'm going to come in also with a little bit of 2H to again help bring that graphite down into the fibers of the paper and I'm barely putting any pressure here. Again, it's just that harder graphite pencil is helping to move some of that other looser graphite from the softer pencils down into the fibers where it needs to be. So if I lift this slightly, angle it a little bit away from the light, I think you could see a little bit more of the values clearer than when it is resting on the table. Again, you know, I'm working here in the classroom, so I only have the one light source, which is directly above. And remember, graphite is very shiny. So every once in a while, even with your own work, you may want to pick it up, look at it from more of a vertical point of view then laying down so that you can really see what value structures you are getting in your artwork. So I'm going to continue adding my 2B pencils to my other sections. Again, since I am just working on going in and slightly darkening areas of my HB into a darker value range, I'm not going to have to press my pencil as hard and I may not have quite as much to do with 2B pencil since a lot of my value structure is already started. Remember, I'm only going in to start darkening areas.
So this finishes my application of 2B pencil. So I have one more pencil in which I can go in and add some deeper darks, and that is the 6B pencil. So in our next video demonstration, we will work on adding 6B pencil.